Honda CB500X uh, Pu PUIG crash bars made in Italy. They attach at the upper motor mount, lower motor mount. Comes out roughly one to two inches from the bodywork. Uh, same on the other side. Again, uh, gosh, um, upper, lower motor mount. The bolts they give you for these are too long. You either have to use washers or get uh, your own bolts for it. Um, the bolts they supply are eight, or have eight millimeter Allen heads, um, and you need to have a very special size washer that if you want to stack it uh, but yeah way too long it'll bottom out don't use their bolts without washers uh, put on some uh, pleated pegs uh, oh there is hard to see that's a GSX 750 shock absorber uh, <clears throat> that's the can you see it? <laughs> That's the plate I made. Obviously, I didn't put the lightning hole in the center. It's just a hair thicker. It has bigger radiuses than stock. It showed no wear after beating the living crap out of it. It uses the stock, stock dog bone. You can get to... That's the, the rebound dampening adjustment. If you pull... The side cover, if you pull the side cover, uh, you can actually see it up in there if I can get the light to change. When you pull the side cover, the compression dampening is easily adjustable, as is the, the preload. I have the preload set about halfway, the factory setting for that. Um, another little minor crud. I took various various screws they had and replaced them with plastic caps um, Allen caps okay I can take that off without a tool I even removed the front ones it's not necessary because there's velcro under there for uh, faster servicing um, oh I put uh, spools on the back eh. um, I mean, it works for certain things. You have, it's a real pain in the ass to change the tire. Uh, if you do buy those, those are T-Rex spools. There is a left and a right. The instructions do not indicate that. Do not get the two confused because they will not fit and you'll scream at yourself. Uh, put the adjustable levers on the front. Oh, on the windscreen, this is the Givy windscreen. I took some plastic tube and made spacers for it and it reduced the wind noise a little bit and gave me a little better handlebar clearance um, raises it up a hair and allows air to come through there again another place that I put uh, I put uh, plastic twist nuts on there for quick removal and am I forgetting anything oh yeah, if you look at the zip ties, you can tell how far I was going when I was coming off of whoop de doos The front end's loaded right now, so it was certainly bottoming. You know, as the forks slide up, it pushes that zip tie higher and higher. That's as high as they get. Uh, I bashed the S uh, SW uh, Motec plate. It... Uh, Oh gosh, can crush the pipe right there. I beat it back in the place. Um, and that's about it for today, other than bad lighting.